somebody who graduated with a biomedical engineering degree, but currently works as a software engineer, I didn't really have a lot of time to create personal projects. Because of that, my resume kind of lacks in this aspect, but there is a solution, vibe coding. If you haven't heard, there's this new thing called vibe coding, which allows people to create entire applications just following vibes. And I kind of want a piece of that pie because if I can create a personal project that can stand out on my resume, I'm certain that whoever looks at my resume next is gonna be so inspired and so ready and willing to hire me that I won't even have to do anything anymore. I can quit my job at the factory. I can go become a software engineer at one of these big companies and live the rest of my life living on a beach, working from home, super easy. Right? So let's figure it out. Can we vibe code an app in less than three hours and create something actually worthwhile? To start, we're gonna have to do something that not many software engineers are able to do. It's called writing things down on a piece of paper. To do that, we're gonna be using the Alive Project Planner, which I came up with and you can find in the description down below. Why do you want to create a project? And you should start with a problem that you have. A problem that I have is that I don't have a personal website. Without a personal website, there's nothing that I can put on my resume that shows all the work I've done other than my LinkedIn and my GitHub. That means that if I do something with a community event, if I do something involved with jujitsu, something that is kind of outside the scope of the professionality of LinkedIn and just the straight coding of GitHub, that's pretty hard for people to find. And I kind of don't want people looking through my Instagram for stuff like that too. I want something professional, demonstrates my skill and shows that I'm working on projects like this, like a live company and other things just super easily. This is a problem that I have because I didn't spend enough time in college worrying about software engineering. I wasn't interested in this three, four, five years ago, but I'm interested in it today. So let's do it. Why is this related to my domain? That's pretty self-explanatory. It's software engineering, it's social media. It's something that I can put on the internet for people to see. If the project ends up being something that's completely unrelated to the domain that I'm applying for, it may be hard to spin the reason as to why you put it on your resume. But if it's related to your domain, then that's simple. And it's good that we address it early as possible. Why is this project fun? Personal projects should be fun because of one reason. You cannot fake enthusiasm. Whenever you're applying, whenever you're trying to get a job, whenever you're trying to do anything in life, everybody can see and feel faked enthusiasm. Why are you going to finish it? Because I set a goal for myself and I like keeping myself accountable. The last and the most important part of this document is here, the signage part. You may say this sign here portion at the bottom is dumb. But trust me, signing a contract and actually holding yourself accountable to something is kind of the entire point of a personal project. If you don't sign this and you write all your whys out, fine, whatever, you didn't, weren't able to get the project done. But if you do sign this and you wrote all your whys out, you better get this thing done because you're creating a personal contract with yourself. And personal projects are honestly mostly about accountability. Are you able to complete something in a certain amount of time that you give yourself? Are you able to do something that you actually always have wanted to do? I believe that signing this piece of paper will 100% get you further than if you do not. So give it a shot. Now let's freaking vibe code. The first thing I have to do is get into the mindset of the vibe coder. Oh, so much monthly revenue. Oh, AI is gonna take over the world. Oh my God, I see it. I see it. A product market fit. An MVP! The sponsor of today's video is me, Math Me Alive Company. I teach self-improvement through engineering so that you can make your life better. If you want to learn more about this topic and learn how to improve your life, check out my website, alivecomp.com. There, I have a newsletter and a bunch of free resources where you can find how to improve yourself, how to think about engineering in a different way, and how to be alive. Check it out, and thanks for watching, guys. Very important that when you're vibe coding, you have all the LEDs on on your keyboard and on your PC at the same time, okay, and your mouse. Let's get vibe coding. The time right now is 5, 10 p.m. I have to go to jiu-jitsu practice at seven, so that means if I can finish this thing in two hours, I'll be able to go to jiu-jitsu practice and not have to worry about anything. Look at my computer right now. I have the HTML file on the left and my website on the right. As I update this index.html file and publish it to my GitHub, things should be changing and things should be happening. I really wanted to create a website that is kind of similar to this guy's. It's really simple and it's something that I honestly want in my own channel as well. So let's do that. Let's create this using vibe coding. Um, and we're gonna ask Cursor a couple of questions. Hi, I make things, mostly code and video. You're probably here for one of these things. Oh, wow, that's actually pretty nice. 
Look at that. So as I hover over the buttons, it does this. Self improvement consulting. Okay, let's see if this leads to my actual personal website. So back to the vibe coding. I'm gonna accept that immediately because I'm vibe coding. I'm not thinking. Remember, I'm just vibe coding. Okay. Uh, okay. So now we're gonna open another index.html. Okay. I want you to add this as the background to my website. All right, let's see what this do. I'm surprised I didn't change any, I guess it's all CSS stuff. Man, I suck. <laughs> um, um, okay, let's, oh, that's gonna make me puke. That genuinely is gonna make you puke. Okay, okay. Oh God. Okay, so going through all of these, you can see that it iterated pretty well. You know, changing it up a little bit, getting to this point, almost puked. Uh, and now we're here, my final magnum opus, the thing that I vibe coded to the nth degree, you know? It, it is truly beautiful and it truly only took me about 45 minutes. This video is supposed to help me get a job, right? So I gotta call up the person that's gonna give me a job. Ooh, and, and that conversation is not gonna be easy. Hi, Google? Hi, this is Google. <laughs> this is Mr. Google? <laughs> Mr. Google. <laughs> Mr. Google, I just made a personal website and it has uh, all the features that a personal website should have and I used AI to do it. Uh, can I work for Google now? That's fantastic, you're hired. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you so much, Mr. Google. I really appreciate it. I'll see you tonight. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Google. Of course, thank you. <laughs> all right, all right, we're good. <laughs> All right, to cap off this video, I don't think vibe coding is a bad thing. I think that if you're going to create any sort of software application and put it out to the world, you have to make sure that you're putting the right checks and balances in the correct places. That means that you're not vibe coding user authentication. You're not vibe coding security options or payment processing. You need to figure that stuff out and make sure that the end user is protected because if you're not, Think about you being the person in that situation. You're using some sort of software that you think is really valuable and really good, and then your entire account gets hacked and your identity gets stolen. I'm not saying that's going to happen, but I'm saying it's possible that it could happen. Just be safe out there and go have some fun. Make some personal projects, do something cool. It doesn't really matter at the end of the day, but also AI is not gonna take over the world. Like Jesus Christ, like vibe coding is not the end all be all. We still need software engineers. Please, please understand that. If you enjoyed this video, please check out another one of my videos over here. I'm also going to be at Open Sauce 2025. If you're gonna be there, let me know in the comments down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My name is Matt from the Alive Company. I hope you learned something and thanks for watching. Peace.